hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so in the previous video uh, related to optoelectronics devices and systems we discussed about the optical communication system in general okay about the optoelectronic system how it works what are the blocks that are involved what are the advantages and disadvantages associated with it so in this video we are going to discuss some basic concepts in brief in short uh, about the most important component of the optical communication system which is the light okay which is the main part the soul of optical communication system so some basic concepts which will be used in while discussing all the other things related to optoelectronics so we'll, we will keep our discussion uh, related to that okay we'll discuss only those aspects which will be used in the uh, upcoming topics related to that so the most uh, basic thing first what is the definition of light so it is an electromagnetic wave which means that it consists of both electrical and magnetic characteristics. So light is an electromagnetic wave which consists of both electric and magnetic field vectors oscillating in mutually perpendicular directions. It means the angle between the electric and magnetic field vector is 90 degree. And both these vectors are also perpendicular to the direction of propagation of light. Okay. So the electric field vector, the magnetic field vector and the direction of propagation of light, they are in three mutually perpendicular direction. So if you want to visualize it, it looks something like this. Okay. So you can imagine it as the coordinate axis, the 3D coordinate axis, X, Y and Z axis. So the Z axis, if Z axis represents the direction of propagation of light, then the X axis you can say is the electric field vector. The Y axis is the magnetic field vector and it keeps on oscillating. Both the electric and magnetic field vectors, they oscillate in mutually perpendicular directions with respect to each other and also perpendicular to the direction of propagation of light. Okay, so this is the uh, basic uh, behavior of a light wave. And also another important aspect uh, related to that is that it's not that the electric and magnetic field vectors are oriented in one particular direction. Yes, the angle between the two vectors is always 90 degree and they are also perpendicular to the direction of propagation of light. But they can be oriented in any direction. Okay, 360 degree, they can be oriented in any direction. So they are random. Okay, so the electric and magnetic field vectors orientation, the direction to which they point it is random in nature. They can point in any direction. So, the basic way to understand the characteristic of light is in terms of the wave characteristics. That is to understand the mathematical representation of a light wave. And uh, mostly the feature that we are interested in is the electric field vector. Okay. The electric field vector vector because it is the most important characteristic and this is the characteristic which comes into play while discussing optoelectronics devices and systems almost all the optical phenomena of interest is caused it, it happens due to the electric field vector that's why the electric field vector is also called as the light vector okay because all the optical phenomena the electric phenomena associated with light is it happens because of the electric field vector and, and this is the component which is utilized in optical systems for communication, for sensing, transduction, data storage, everything. So the electric field vector can be represented mathematically in terms of a two-dimensional equation. Okay. 
and time domain and also in terms of uh, let's say displacement okay as e0 sin omega t minus kx plus pi subscript o so here omega is the angular frequency 2 pi nu nu is the frequency this is in radians per second this is in hertz then we have k here which is 2 pi by lambda subscript o so k here is the wave number and lambda subscript o is the wavelength of light in free space phi subscript o is the phase constant and as i said k is the wave number and e0 is the peak amplitude so this is a two dimensional basic representation of a light the electric field vector or the light vector so we will be using this representation this equation for every mathematical derivation that we perform uh, in optical uh, the optical systems be it for communication instrumentation whatever so any one of these features is modulated okay it's changed for optical communication sensing transduction what the control whatever purpose so this equation is very important so you understand each and every aspect associated with it so again as i said these are the things e0 is the peak amplitude omega is the angular frequency nu is the frequency k is the wave number and this is the phase constant and lambda subscript o is the wavelength of light in free space so another important aspect associated with it is the dual nature of light okay so we all know that uh, light exhibits both wave and particle nature and uh, this is based on Planck's quantum theory and Einstein's photoelectric effect so each of these uh, behavior is uh, responsible for a particular optical phenomena for example the wave nature is responsible for a optical phenomena such as interference diffraction the particle nature is responsible for other optical phenomena such as emission and abs absorption so we will be discussing about these optical phenomena in detail because these will also come into play in while discussing optoelectronics devices and systems so this is in the basics okay we will be discussing about these uh, phenomena in detail okay so the dual nature of light also comes into play both wave and particle nature another important aspect is the energy associated with light so according to the particle nature of light light travels in the form of energy packets and each energy packet is called as photons and uh, the amount of energy associated with each photon okay each such energy packet is given by is it is dependent it is proportional to the frequency so it is represented it is given mathematically it is represented as the energy is equal to h nu or hc by lambda subscript o so here h is the planck's constant nu is the frequency c is the speed of light in free space and lambda subscript o is the wavelength of light in free space okay so this is the energy associated with light again it will come into play because for a wave to travel from one point to another it must have an some amount of energy associated with it so the more the energy the more is the distance that it travels so all these things are the basics that uh, will come into play while we discuss the other we go in deeper into optoelectronics in the future videos so all these things will be used so i just uh, thought that i should uh, make you uh, just acquainted with these things that uh, these things will will be used so you have a good idea about them so here we have discussed about uh, the basic concepts associated with the most important component of optical communication system or the optical optoelectronic system which is light starting from the basic definition the mathematical representation the the behavior 
so the pictorial representation and the uh, other important aspects the dual nature the energy so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much